Welcome to The Thrive Perspective. This show is dedicated to survivors of child sexual abuse, sexual assault, and domestic violence. Now, let me ask you something. Are you just surviving in your life? Are you ready to thrive in your life? Well, yes, I bet you are, and that's why you are tuning in today. Hi, I'm Rena Romano and a Sir Thriver of child abuse and sexual assault. The Thrive Perspective is an innovative approach to help you stop living in the past so that you can get unstuck and get back to happy and start living an unstoppable life. So let's get started with today's program. Hello, Sir Thriver. How are you today? Thanks for tuning in. I'm so glad that you're here. Ah, it's a great day. I want to share something with you. I told you, send me an email if you've listened to the podcast. And I want to do a shout out to Nick. Nick sent me an email last year. I finally got around to to saying, hello, Nick, and give a shout out to this young man. Yes, he's a male survivor, 19-year-old survivor at the time. And he listened to the podcast stop listening to the critics and he said I just wanted to take a moment to reach out my name is Nick I'm a 19 year old survivor and speaker myself your message resonated put a smile on my face and was truly beautiful keep being amazing well Nick you keep being amazing too thank you for that message and I appreciate you sending that to me so that that's what I want to share with you right now. If my uh, podcast has been resonating with you, if you have something you want me to talk about, give me a shout out. Send me an email to info, I-N-F-O at renoromano.com or you can go to my website, renoromano.com and send a message through my contact page. So thanks again, Nick. You keep being amazing. You are awesome. Well, you know, I, as a female survivor... I didn't think about the impact of what my message and sharing my story would have on male survivors. It's been truly, truly amazing. And I I thought I would just resonate with female survivors. But here's what I want you to know. If you're living in, in your truth, you can touch people's lives in ways that you don't even know. Don't be ashamed of your past. Now, you may not want to be a public speaker or go on stage, but when we accept our truth, our past, and become proud of our courage, strength, and tenacity to live in our truth, that is a testament to you, Sir Thriver. That is a testament to you and your courage. When my TEDx talk came out, the title is Healing from Sexual Abuse Can Start with One Word. If you haven't seen it yet, please go watch it on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up. It is resonating with male and female survivors. I was really surprised that so many male survivors are thanking me for the message, which is really cool. When it first came out, I was very competitive. And I'm going to admit something right now. I was more concerned about how many views my TEDx talk would get versus how it would impact people's lives. There were 12 other speakers that day on stage, and some of them have a lot bigger following than me. And I was watching their TEDx talk, and this one fellow got hundreds of thousands of views, and I only had like 200 and something. And I was comparing myself to him. I was being competitive. I wasn't thinking about how my message could impact other survivors. I was more concerned about how many views I was getting. And my ego took over. I hate to admit it, but it's true. I'm human. My ego was in charge until I got this message from another male survivor. And it really changed my life. And I want to thank him, too. Um, because he sent me a private message, and he's not on the podcast. He sent the message through by watching the TEDx talk. I will just call him male survivor. But his message to me that day that was life-changing, I want to share it with you. And he says, Hi, Rena. My name is Male Survivor. You don't know me, but I finished watching your TEDx Ocala talk on the TED YouTube channel. I am viewer 272. 
Your message was incredibly powerful and one that needs to be spread throughout the world. It took incredible courage to get up there on the TEDx stage and tell your story. Bravo to you. Your story is very similar to my own. Like you, I was sexually abused as a kid, and like you, I waited decades to tell anyone. When I was ready in my early 40s, I found a great therapist, and I dealt with the issues caused by the abuse. While it was not exactly the most pleasant experience of my life, it worked. It must have. I mean, I'm emailing you, a random TEDx speaker, who I do not know, to tell you my story. And I'm doing it without feelings of pain or shame or anger. There's no way I could have done that a couple of years ago. So why am I writing this email? To tell you that whether you knew it or not, you spoke for all of us survivors. You spoke words that I have thought so many times over the past few years. So for that, I just wanted to say thank you. And I'm proud of you. And I will leave you with one last thing. My favorite quote is from the actress Diane Ladd, who said, If I can help one person in this world, then it's enough, and I've done my job. Well, Rena, you have done your job. All the best, male survivor. (laughs) I have to tell you, I cry every time I read that. I'm crying now, and I'm, I'm feeling proud, humbled, and living my purpose. Here's what I want you to know. That if you can help one person in this world, then it's enough and you've done your job. Don't be ashamed of your past, Sir Thriver. We didn't commit the crimes. And whether you share your story with the world or not, accepting your story, accepting your past 100% is so humbling, so life-changing His email put my ego in check, man. He brought me back to earth and made me realize why I did my TEDx talk in the first place. It was to share my message. I had that message inside me for so many years and I wanted to share it. And now my message, I thought, you know, I thought I would just resonate with female survivors, but my message is resonating with male survivors too. And That is so humbling. That is, it's so rewarding. So thank you to Nick and thank you to viewer 272 on the TEDx talk. You guys are awesome. I really didn't think that my message would resonate with male survivors. Being a female, I'm coming from my female perspective. But I guess, um, you know, my message is a little bit broader than I even imagined. So don't be ashamed of your past. (laughs) I think ego plays a big part in shame. When I released the shame, I, I became more at peace with myself. So I guess that's what I want to, I want to say today is don't let shame control you. Don't let ego control you. I think ego holds on to shame because I wanted to be right about the wrongs committed against me. Have you felt that way? I didn't want to let go of the shame. I didn't want to let go of the hurt. And I wasn't going to forgive either. Because I wanted to be right about the wrongs committed against me. But I'm so glad I was able to release the shame. To release my ego. Let go of the ego. And be humbled. And know that I'm making a difference. And forgiveness is huge too. That played a huge part in my recovery. So I hope my message helps today. Letting go of ego helps you let go of shame. Letting go of ego helps let go of shame. Why should we hang on to shame for crimes that we didn't commit? And I think it is ego. Like I said, I wanted to be right about the wrongs committed against me. So let me know what you think about that. Once I let go of ego, of how many views that I have, I have to tell you, I'm up to 133,000 views now. And I'm getting more and more thank yous from survivors all around the world. Once I let go of the ego of 
how many views I had. I mean, the, the guy I was comparing myself with, he's got over a million views now. But that doesn't matter. It's the thank yous and the lives that I'm touching is what's important. It's not the views. Just like Diane Ladd said, if I can touch one person, then I've done my job. So how are you touching people? A smile? Being nice? Being kind? Are you sharing your story? Have you completely accepted your story? Have you had counseling? If you haven't had counseling, I am on the RAIN Speaker Bureau. Please call and get help if you haven't gotten help yet. Yeah, it's difficult to do, I'm telling you. But it's the most life-saving, rewarding thing that you can do for yourself and for others. I think part of that was ego too. I didn't want to deal with having to go through counseling with therapy. Ego gets in the way of lots of stuff. It's such a small word, E-G-O, but it creates huge problems for us when we hang on to our ego. So I want to say thank you to Nick and thank you to viewer 272. Two male survivors that I didn't expect to hear from that really changed my life, changed the way I thought about how I present myself to the world, how I show up in the world. It's just being authentic and being myself. So I hope that helps you, Sir Thriver. I'm so excited about the new course. I'm getting rave reviews on that. I'll share some of those on the next episode from other Sir Thrivers who have gone through the course. And it's the Thrive Perspective Online, or I've got a link to the course in this publication of this podcast. So you can just click on it and go to it. Okay. Thanks for tuning in today. Let go of ego. It lets go of shame. Letting go of ego will help you be more of your true authentic self. That is so rewarding. So think about that. And I hope this message resonates with you today. If it does, send me a shout out, send me a message and I'll give a shout out to you. Okay. So have a good one. Take care. Until next time, I wish you peace, love, and ciao for now.